guys. It is day three. Welcome back. Good job showing up for yourself. Today we'll be doing upper body and core again. So I'm just doing a quick little warm up here. But as always, you can do your own warm up that takes a little bit more time. I just don't want to make the video super long. So that's why I'm doing kind of a short little warm up here. But um, today you will need just the thing you're using for a weight, detergent bottle, gallon jug, whatever, and a mat and a chair and that's it. So make sure you have those things readily available. We are going to be starting with push-ups. I'm going to start on my knees. Um, you can start you being on your knees as well. I realized that the floor hurt my knees so get in the mat. Um, make sure when you're doing the push-ups, I know they're scary, but I promise they'll get easier throughout the program. So, we'll be doing three sets of five. Make sure to brace your core, tuck your tailbone like I'm showing here, and go. On the way down, make sure to point your elbows towards the back. Don't let them flare out. Point them towards the back. Try to keep a neutral spine. Don't crane your neck up or crane your neck down. Um, try to just look at the floor in front of you. You're doing great. If you can't get the full five reps, that's totally okay. Just do as many as you can. And like I said, you're gonna get better over time. You're gonna get stronger. Just making sure you can see me, which you could already see me, but okay. You like how my humidifier's going? Really set in the mood. I live in Denver, so it's super dry, so it's a little treat for my plant babies. All right, we're about to start set number two. Get ready. Go ahead and make sure your core is braced. Look at the ground in front of you and go. If it's too difficult to even get one or two, that's also okay. You can do it on an incline where you're just leaning on some furniture. So you can start there and build your way up to being able to do these. Drink your water, don't forget. Have y'all been increasing your water intake since you started? Let me know. Are you peeing a million times a day? I hope. All right, set number three. Get ready. Brace your core. And go. Great job. All done with scary push-ups. Next we'll be doing seated shoulder press. So you'll need your weight and a chair. This will be just like the standing shoulder press we did on day one, but you're sitting. Still make sure to brace your core. Set number one, we're gonna be doing three sets of eight to 10 and go.
And just like on day one, if doing it one arm at a time is a bit too difficult, then you can do it with both hands, grabbing the weight and pushing it up like we were doing on day one. Belle has graced us with her presence. Okay, set number two. I'm going to show you how you can do it with both hands this time. So if you felt okay doing one arm at a time, just continue to do it that way. Great job, just one more set of these. If you wanna hold your cat against his or her will during this rest time, go ahead. Belle seems pretty okay with it though. She's used to it, I do this 10 to 30 times a day. Okay, third set, and go. Great job, you did it. You're gonna need to push your chair against the wall because we're doing the dreaded tricep dips next. So push it up against the wall so you don't slide all over the place. Okay, so remember for the tricep dips, you can have your legs extended forward or have them more bent if that makes it easier for you. Well, we'll make it easier. If you need to do that, you can. And remember, we're going to be sending our elbows back to the back of the chair. And go. Good job, you did great. I know those suck. Okay, second set, get ready. I'm gonna show how you can do it modified easier by bending your legs.
Good job. Whatever that was, I hope it made you feel accomplished. Does anyone else with anxiety constantly bounce their leg like that? I never realize I'm doing it, but as I'm watching myself, I'm like, bitch, can you relax? Okay, anyway, it's set three. Get ready. And go. You did it, good job. Okay, we're done with the chair. Next we'll be doing bicep curls. So you'll need your weight again. So this time with the bicep curls, we're gonna be doing slow negatives. What that means is, so you have the positive or the concentric part of the movement, which is when you're curling it up and the eccentric part, oh my god, I just dropped my phone, sorry if you heard that. And then you have the eccentric part of the movement, or the negative, which is on the way down. And on the way down is a great thing to focus on, at least sometimes, because you're getting the most out of the movement by focusing on the negative as well. So we're going to be curling up and then letting the weight down very slowly. Try to count to three on the way down. Um, it's gonna burn more than the bicep curls we did the other day. That's okay, just embrace it. The burn is your friend. It means you're getting stronger. So let's get started. Okay, set number one, ready, go. You see how slowly I'm lowering it down? So this is the concentric part, eccentric part. So if you ever see some fitness person saying something about the eccentric part of the movement, that's what they mean. Oh God, is Belle gonna have a litter box moment right now? She couldn't wait 10 minutes? Okay, I guess so. Thank you, Belle. Great job, we finished the first set. Okay, set number two, get ready. Remember, slow negatives. And if one arm at a time was a little too difficult, per usual, you can do it with both hands like I'm doing here. Still go slow on the way down.
Are you feeling the burn in your biceps? I hope so. Okay, third set. Good job, y'all. Almost done. So next we're gonna be doing bent over row. So you're gonna need the chair pushed up against the wall again. You need it because we're going to be leaning on it to do the bent over row. So if you're doing your right arm first, have your right leg back, left leg forward, lean forward on your chair or furniture, and we're going to row, pull it up. You should feel it in your back. Let it down slowly, back up, make sure to fully extend at the bottom, fully contract your muscle at the top. Right there is where you should be feeling it. Great job. Okay, switch sides, switch legs. Great job. This is a great back exercise that we're gonna keep doing throughout the program. Working your back is super important. It's an extremely big muscle, and also it, the more you develop your back and the more you develop your butt, the smaller your waist looks. It gives the illusion of a smaller waist. So if that's your thing, then definitely work out your back. Drink some water. Okay, set number two. We're doing three sets of eight to 10 each side, by the way. I keep forgetting to tell you all the reps, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get better. Other side, great job. Good job. One more set of this.
Okay, last set. You guys are doing great. If you're not feeling it in your back, just like I said for the squats and stuff, if you want to send me a video of you doing a movement, I can check your form for you. So don't hesitate to do that because I want to make sure you're getting the most out of your workout. Great job. Okay, the last thing we're gonna be doing for upper body is lateral raises, which works your shoulders. So grab your weight, you won't need the chair anymore. And we're gonna be lifting it to the side. That's why it's called a lateral raise. Slight bend in your knees and a bend in your elbow. Try to think about it like you're lifting through your elbow instead of lifting through your hand. That's how you can make sure to keep your arm all on the same plane. We're doing three sets of eight each side. Good job, y'all. Oh, she's yawning. Okay, set number two, get ready. Lifting through your elbow. Good job, one more set of this and then we're done with upper body for the day. Okay, last set, get ready and go. Almost done, great job. And we are done with upper body for the day. So go get your mats. We're gonna do some abs. Okay, we are starting with drunken mountain climbers. So be in the plank position and you're gonna bring your knee to the opposite elbow. Nice and slow and controlled. Squeeze your abs at the top of each rep and we're gonna be doing two sets of 10 per leg.
Great job. This bitch yawning so much. Why was I so tired? Okay, second set, get into the plank position, brace your core, and knee to the opposite elbow, go. Great job, all done with those. And the last thing we're gonna do is those slow negative setups again. I know, everyone's least favorite thing. Sometimes you just gotta stick your face in the humidifier. No big deal. Okay, remember, brace your core and slowly let yourself down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. You can do that little kick up thing to get back up or you can hook your feet under some furniture. Look straight ahead. Put all your focus on your abs. Feel the burn. Great job, just one more set. Hello. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for the next set? All right, tighten your core. You're almost done. Give this last set your all. Really squeeze your abs. You're almost done. You almost can go watch TV, eat food, do whatever you want. Squeeze them, squeeze them, good. Great job. Almost done. And you did it. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Drink some water, eat some protein, get some good sleep, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day four. I hope you have a good day. Oh. And that's it. Okay, bye. Almost done.